Welcome everyone. Today we'll have another Genshin Impact News Digest. I know we haven't been having a lot of news digest lately, so today we'll focus on some of the important news that some of my viewers shared to me, and we want to clear up some rumors. So the first concern from my viewer who told me is that there may be a rework of Shenhe's particular hero design, because she's actually too sexy for the Chinese audience. So we have a look at the source of the information that the viewer sent to me about this video, about multiple videos and complaints and also reports on the Chinese side for Shenhe and how might this affect us. And we'll go through some of the previous, you know, the similar conflict between Jean's skin. So if you guys remember, back when the Jean skin was released, there was also talk about her being censored in China with her armpits. Notice that her armpits over here is showing, but on the particular Chinese version, it wasn't showing. So we talk about, you know, different things about different regions about this, and we want to clear up any rumors and anything misunderstandings between this. And because this is like a news video about, you know, more... I guess, the Chinese side of the Genshin Impact. Let's have a look at two other pieces of news which some of the viewers also shared to me with some of the concerns. Why is that Genshin Impact may be working with Tencent? And as you guys know, Tencent is one of the biggest gaming, you know, also multimedia companies in China. People are worried that Genshin Impact will become more greedy and charge more money in the game. So we'll talk about this as well. And finally, one of my viewers also told me about this. I thought I'd collect the whole combination for you guys in this video because this is like, you know, focus on Genshin Impact. So Mihoyu joins the CPP, the Communist Party, and they worry that how this affect the game. Is this good for the game or is this bad for the game? And this is actually from Mr. Wee, so the Wee Hilly Cho in the game, and he is the chairman of the game. So we'll talk about this on the final part of the video. So coming over to the most important news, a few of the mirrors on Reddit and also on, you know, on Discord have been sharing with me some concerns of Shenhe, the new character for patch 2.4. Her hero model may be adjusted because this seems to be about a week or so ago. So this video was one of my viewers sent it to me. There's multiple other videos. So this one is actually from Yuan Shen by Xiao Shen. So this is on the 23rd. And seems to be, there seems to be a lot of drama and also, I guess, complaints about this character when it was revealed from the official source of media. People were saying, using the reasoning, that this particular character is too sexy. <laughs> so let, let me get it straight. She is actually too sexy. And she actually breaks the rules of the laws in China, which is age 12 and plus. For She's too sexy for minors. What they're saying is her leggings, the revealing of her skin is too seductive. And she's, she's presented as too sexy with her dress. And she's revealing too much. And if you guys do want to have a look, look, watch at this video. This video is about a minute. He does speak in Chinese, though. So. so basically, the the poster Ranshan Bai Xiaoshan also says that he really hope Genshin Impact doesn't, you know, get attacked by multiple mass of people because the game itself is very popular in China. And what people do is other companies don't like games, you know, other competitors taking all their money because if Genshin Impact makes a lot of money in China, other companies don't. So people tend to hire. No, purposely hire people to attack the game. They will find different ways to attack the game. And there's always there you no know, stir up of dramas and you know things like this in the Chinese community. This happened in Hong Kong Impact as well, and this also happens in Genshin Impact. So the concern from this particular poster, the video maker from Billy Billy, is that hopefully this doesn't lead to the rework of Shenhe. Because ultimately we do want to see Shenhe as the way she's presented to the public. And, you know, with her dress and also her leggings, she's very cute and very sexy, right? And she represents, you know, Gangyu, Rosaria, all the female characters who are quite sexy. So in this video, the poster also mentioned about, you know, even the female viewers or the female players said it's okay. They are okay with the design. And But right now, Genshin Impact has received multiple conflicts between the community in China. So a lot of people are attacking this model. Of it looks too good. I know, why not? I don't know. <laughs> but, and there's a lot of people defending Genshin Impact. So, right now, there hasn't been a formal decision yet whether Shenhe will be reworked. But there may be a small chance that in China, that she may be reworked and also her skin that is revealed and also her leggings may be covered up. And in the sense that she's not being too seductive in the region of China. Now, you might think this is actually really bizarre. But back when the Jin skin was about to be released, similar dramas and similar you know, concerns were actually raised in the Jin skin. So we're coming over to a Reddit post just to look at the Jin skin. This was actually revealed on the stream, in the Chinese stream about Jin. And what you want to notice is that her, her armpits and also her dress is not showing. 
but if you have a look at some of the Reddit pictures, there are other versions of the Jin skin where her armpits seems to be showing. It is not the biggest thing, but then there's also started a lot of dramas and also a lot of concerns back in 1.6, because this was the first skin in the game, and people were worried that this will vary between regions. So what they mean by that is, the Chinese version might have a sensitive gene skin, which her armpits and also different parts of her body is actually covered up, while the Western version will have a gene skin that is more revealing, because the, you know, the Chinese said they want to adjust for the age 12 and plus, and they don't want her to be too revealing. So this was quite a bit of concern back then, and eventually this was you know, this was cleared up, and this was shown as a misunderstanding. Those were two posts of different versions of the gene skin. So I guess, so using that as an example, I do want to clear up this rumor and confirm that the Shinhei character will be reworked. There's a very small chance, I won't say there isn't a chance, because, you know, Miko, you have been known to, to tailor towards the community. If the community feedback is very strong, like Hong Kong Impact, they will actually give out additional rewards to the Chinese community because of that. So there may be a small chance she may be reworked. Whether it's, you know, in China only or in global, we're not sure. But hopefully this doesn't happen, because a lot of even the female viewers are saying that she looks okay, just, you know, let her be that way. So let me know, do you guys think Shinhei is too sexy to be reworked? I, I do like the character though, because usually I don't want to get all into the drama stuff, but I think it's quite important to clear up the misunderstanding, and I think it's quite important for us to see as a community that, you know, they didn't do too, you know, I've seen games where, oh gosh, they're just wearing bikinis. So Genshin Impact is kind of like that. I mean, if you look closely, she is wearing, like, you can see her undies and that. I don't know, like, l let me know what you guys think. <laughs> now, if you haven't subscribed, this is a really good time to do so. Make sure you also turn the bell on for the latest news as I find more of them for us. You can see that we're really dedicated for Genshin Impact. We'll have builds, guides, tips, news, and events updates for everything that's Genshin Impact related. Now, following the topic of, you know, the concerns of Genshin Impact and also the directions of the game, I do see a post and some of my viewers have told me about this. I haven't got time to address this. So it says Genshin, Genshin Impact may be working with Tencent. Now, there are two concerns on this side. One is that Tencent is a really big gaming company and they tend to run monopolies of games and also medias in China. And if Genshin Impact works with them, then maybe influenced by the directions of the management of Tencent. Which, as you guys might have known, you know, I won't say anything bad about Tencent, but the fear is the potential influence of the Tencent of the marketing team and the, you know, the pricing team of changing the pricing of the items. For example, the Jean skin, we're coming back to the Jean skin. Items like those may be gated behind paid currency. The Jean skin is one of those, and it's behind Genesis gems. If you're free to play, you can't buy with Primal gems, and that's not a good direction of the game. You don't want gate items behind paywalls. So this is one of the concerns. The second concern for Genshin Impact to work with Tencent is that the stories, the direction of the game may be tailored towards psychologically making the players to pay more money over the enjoyment, the beautiful music, and also exploration. So this is yet to be confirmed. People are saying that, you know, you know, Tencent doesn't look good, you know, this and that, but hopefully the directors in Genshin Impact, which they have the gaming module of the Okita Save the World, so tech geniuses save the world, so hopefully they still stay true with the game and they don't take the direction to make more money out of the game, because they already make a lot of money. That's why they are being attacked by other, other competitors reporting them in whatever they do, creating dramas on the skins and doing everything they can to kind of ruin the game's pop population and also ruin the game's, you know, popularity. So I'm not sure, let me, you know, I, I do know a few Tencent games. I've played a few of those. Oh boy, it's so easy to spend. Before you know it, you spend like $20, $30 in and I'm not even strong. Like what my Chinese friend said is, in the Tencent game, if you don't spend a few hundred dollars, you don't even play the game. <laughs> the game plays you. <laughs> so I'll leave this aside. Now coming over to our final piece of the news update. I know this today's news is so weird, right? I'll try to look for other different news of the game, but I thought I'd group those three together. Over here, a few of the viewers told me to have a look at this Reddit post about Mihoyu joining the Communist Party in China. And the chairman, Mr. Wei, was you know, he became, uh, you know, a member of the party. So they're saying, is this a good direction for the game? How is this going to happen? How are the censorship going to work? Because earlier we talked about the censorship. 
we also talk about the monopoly of the game of joining with Tencent. So the final piece is <clears throat> how would this affect the game in general? And I actually do can I can see oh oh my gosh I didn't notice this friend over here is actually his account is actually deleted I'm not sure why but <laughs> so he actually shared some really insightful ideas about the game and I personally I have a bit of Chinese background and although I'm living in Australia I think some of my friends are still Chinese so they share off their perspective to me they do say this is a good direction for the game because if you don't have someone on the party on the government side when something happens to you, when people attack you violently with social media, with you know complaints like the Shenhe skin, and people attack about the Jin skin, people attack you about Monopoly, it's good to have someone on the party. This actually protects the game for the long term. So su successful games in China do want to be connected with all sorts of department. So this, in the sense, you know, Miho is a growing corporation. They're making so much money, and it's actually a good thing for the. Genshin Impact itself to last longer in China before you know something bad happens to it and it gets banned. Because oh boy, trust me, there's so many <laughs> so many rules and policies that we're not sure of in the West compared to you know Asia countries, especially China. So it's good that Genshin Impact is taking active steps to protect their market, their product from competitors. And I guess this also comes, if you guys remember, in the Chinese news, national news, there was actually a a compliment to Genshin Impact as one of the top 100 companies to be promoted by the Chinese government because they did so well for the country. They made so much money, they gave the country good publicity, so people are really proud of the game. And I do remember there's a little sticky of Kaching. I can't find the post somewhere. I think you guys remember that one. So Genshin Impact was actually nominated and promoted by the Chinese news. So the Genshin Impact joining the Communist Party is actually a really good step forward to protect the game. So I guess this is from me reading a little bit and asking my Chinese friends. They're saying this is a good direction and we shouldn't be too worried about the game. What we should be worried though is if they get too greedy with Tencent, they may be trying to get a lot of items behind the paywall. So hopefully that doesn't happen. But the direction for the you know joining the party is actually protecting the game and also expanding the company and also the future projects. They will be getting more protection from the government, more approvals, and also you know protection from the reportings. So let me let me know what you guys think about those three pieces of news. I do want to share a bit of my Chinese background, translate a bit, and ask my Chinese friends and also you know communicate with the viewers about the concerns of the game. I also do plan to make more daily videos about news and updates. I think that's what I enjoy the game the most, about what's coming, what's coming in the game, what's happening in the game, and how much we can enjoy the game with different, you know, different understandings. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. I'll keep you guys updated with more Genshin Impact content with free Primal Gems, with news updates, and also with translations from the Chinese side to the English side. Because I do think there's a lot of good parts about this game. And look how sexy she is, right? <laughs> lovely, lovely. Now, if you found this video helpful, make sure you subscribe and also turn the little bell on for the latest news. I'll be looking towards to make more builds, guides, tips, and news and event updates for us as we come further into the game. And as always, I wish you guys the best of luck with catching and have the most fun in exploring this wonderful world.